Expand your vocabulary with our core 2,000 words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free German ebook before it's gone. In this video, you'll learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in German. Hi everybody, my name is Anja. Welcome to the 800 core German words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in German. But there is a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we'll include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at germanpod101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally master German. Okay, let's get started. First is... Hallo. Hello. Hallo. Hallo. Hello. Wenn ich jemandem zum ersten Mal treffe, sage ich gerne Hallo. When I first meet someone, I like to say Hello. Wenn ich jemanden zum ersten Mal treffe, sage ich gerne Hallo. Entschuldigung. Excuse me. Entschuldigung. Entschuldigung. Excuse me. Entschuldigung. Wie sagt man das auf Deutsch? Excuse me. How do you say this in German? Entschuldigung. Wie sagt man das auf Deutsch? Es tut mir leid. I'm sorry. Es tut mir leid. Es tut mir leid. I'm sorry. Es tut mir leid, er ist im Augenblick nicht da. I'm sorry, he's not here right now. Es tut mir leid. Er ist im Augenblick nicht da. Gute Nacht. Good night. Gute Nacht. Gute Nacht. Good night. Die Frau wünscht ihrem Mann eine gute Nacht. The woman wishes her husband a good night. Die Frau wünscht ihrem Mann eine gute Nacht. Freut mich, Sie kennenzulernen. Nice to meet you. Freut mich, Sie kennenzulernen. Freut mich, Sie kennenzulernen. Nice to meet you. Hallo Peter, mein Name ist Richard und es freut mich, dich kennenzulernen. Hello Peter, my name is Richard and it is nice to meet you. Hallo Peter, mein Name ist Richard und es freut mich, dich kennenzulernen. Wie geht es dir? How are you? Wie geht es dir? Wie geht es dir? How are you? Mir geht es gut. Wie geht es dir? I'm doing very well. How are you? Mir geht es gut. Wie geht es dir? Ja. Yes. 
Ja. Ja. Yes. Kannst du heute bitte mit dem Hund spazieren gehen? Ja. Can you take the dog for a walk today? Yes. Kannst du heute bitte mit dem Hund spazieren gehen? Ja. Nein. No. Nein. Nein Zeichen. No sign. Nein Zeichen. Danke. Thank you. Danke. Danke. Thank you. Danke, aber ich habe dies nicht bestellt. Thank you, but I didn't order this. Danke, aber ich habe dies nicht bestellt. Ich bin I'm Ich bin Ich bin I'm Ich bin Lisa. I am Lisa. Ich bin Lisa. Auf Wiedersehen. Goodbye. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Goodbye. Auf Wiedersehen. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Goodbye. See you next time. Auf Wiedersehen. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Schlecht. Bad. Schlecht. Schlecht. Bad. Dieser Film ist wirklich schlecht. This movie is really bad. Dieser Film ist wirklich schlecht. Gut. Good. Gut. Gut. Good. Gemüse ist gut für dich. Vegetables are good for you. Gemüse ist gut für dich. Hübsch. Pretty. Hübsch. Hübsch. Pretty. Du bist sehr hübsch. You are very pretty. Du bist sehr hübsch. Hässlich. Ugly. Hässlich. Hässlich. Ugly. Hässliches Gesicht. Ugly face. Hässliches Gesicht. Einfach. Easy. Einfach. Einfach. Easy. Einfache Entscheidung. Easy decision. Einfache 
Entscheidung. Schwierig. Difficult. Schwierig. Schwierig. Difficult. Sehr schwierig. Very difficult. Sehr schwierig. Nahe. Near. Nahe. Nahe. Near. Ich wohne ganz nahe am Bahnhof. I live very close to the station. Ich wohne ganz nahe am Bahnhof. Weit. Far. Weit. Weit. Far. Die Frau guckt auf etwas, das weit entfernt ist. The woman is looking at something far away. Die Frau guckt auf etwas, das weit entfernt ist. Klein. Small. Klein. Klein. Small. Kleines Küken. Small chick. Kleines Küken. Remember, the goal of the series is to build a vocabulary of the 800 most common words and phrases in German. If that sounds like a lot, don't worry. We can help you. Click the link in the description to access the full list. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources at germanpod101.com. See you next time. Auf Wiedersehen! 10 phrases to help you in an emergency. All right. Bitte rufen Sie die Polizei. Bitte rufen Sie die Polizei. Call the police, please. Yeah, so if you got caught in an emergency, <laughs> then you can just say to someone, call the police, please. Haben Sie Fieber? Haben Sie Fieber? Do you have a fever? So if someone's not feeling well or looks really sick, or um, if you're at the doctor, then he might ask, Haben Sie Fieber? Ich habe meinen Reisepass verloren. Ich habe meinen Reisepass verloren. I lost my passport. I once thought I had lost my passport, but then luckily I found it in my suitcase, so I was safe. Nothing happened. <laughs> ich glaube, ich habe etwas Schlechtes gegessen. Ich glaube, ich habe etwas Schlechtes gegessen. I think I ate something bad. So when you're not feeling well, when you have a stomach ache, then you would say, Ich glaube, ich habe etwas Schlechtes gegessen. Ich brauche einen Arzt. Ich brauche einen Arzt. I need a doctor. If you want someone to um, call an ambulance, then you would be like, ich brauche einen Arzt. But that sounds really, really urgent. Hallo? Hello. Hallo? Hello? It's usually used between friends and usually you add, hallo, wie geht's? It's hello, how are you? Guten Morgen? Good morning. Guten Morgen. Good morning. And obviously it's used in the <laughs> Very casual would be just morning, morgen. Guten Tag. Good afternoon. Guten Tag means good afternoon or good day. You don't usually say it to friends. Guten Tag. <laughs> Na klar. Of course. Na klar means of course. I actually use it a lot. It's very casual. Uh, kannst du mein Auto heute waschen? Na klar. Um, that would be really actually really good. But uh, it means can you wash my car today? Of course. Who wouldn't want that, right? Wie heißen Sie? 
What's your name? Wie heißen Sie means what's your name. Wie heißen Sie is a very formal way um, to say it. Between friends, it would be more wie heißt du. Wie heißen Sie? Ich heiße Alisa. What's your name? My name is Alisa. Ich bin. I am. Ich bin heute gut drauf. Uh, I am in a really good mood today. Ich bin im Urlaub. I am on vacation. Wie geht es Ihnen? How are you? Wie geht es Ihnen? And then, mir geht es gut. How are you? I am good. Es freut mich, Sie kennenzulernen. Nice to meet you. Hallo, wie geht's? Es freut mich, Sie kennenzulernen. Hello, how are you? Nice to meet you is a very common sentence. Mir geht es gut, danke. Und Ihnen? I'm fine, thanks. And you? Mir geht es gut, danke. Und Ihnen? I'm fine, thanks. And you? It's the answer to uh, if you get asked, wie geht es Ihnen? So when you're talking to friends, you can actually say, mir geht es gut, danke. Und dir? Bitte. Please. Bitte also means you're welcome. Danke, dass du heute einkaufen warst. Ach, uh, bitte. Thank you uh, for going grocery shopping today. You're welcome. Bis später. See you later. Bis später. See you later. Uh, bis gleich means when um, you're actually meeting in maybe five to ten minutes. And bis später is used mostly, for example, in the morning and you're going to meet uh, during the evening. Hallo, sollen wir heute essen gehen? Ja, gerne. Ja, dann bis später. Uh, hello, should we go have um, something to eat today? Yes, sure. See you later. Ich glaube schon. I think so. Ich glaube schon. I think so. Meinst du, wir können heute was trinken gehen? Ich glaube schon. Um, yeah, do you think we can go have drinks tonight? I think so. Ich glaube schon is kind of like an uncertain thing to say. Danke. Thank you. Danke. Thank you. Danke is a very casual between friends and uh, family. Wie geht es dir heute? Danke, sehr gut. How are you today? Thank you. I am fine. Gern geschehen. You're welcome. Ja, danke, dass du mir beim Umzug geholfen hast. Gern geschehen. Thank you for helping me move. You're welcome. Ja, yes. Ja means yes. And of course, it's a very, very common word in German. You use it all the time when you're listening to someone. Ja, gehst du heute, uh, kannst du heute bitte mit dem Hund spazieren gehen? Ja, can you take the dog for a walk today? Yes. Nein, no. Nein, no. Hast du am Samstag Zeit? Uh, nein, leider nicht. Um, are you free on Saturday? No, sorry, I'm not. Just saying nein is a little bit rude, so people just add no, I am not free. Okay, okay. It's more used with uh, friends and family and not at work place. When I was a child, I wasn't allowed to say, okay, for example, I, yeah, I have to say yes or no. Ja, nein. And of course, okay is also used, uh, for example, wie geht es dir? Oh, mir geht's okay. And how are you? I'm okay. Kannst du mir vielleicht deine Kamera heute ausleihen? Okay. Could you lend me your camera today? Okay. Entschuldigung. Excuse me. Entschuldigung, excuse me. Entschuldigung, Sie haben gerade Ihre Schlüssel verloren. Uh, excuse me, you just dropped your keys. So yeah, excuse me and uh, I'm sorry means both. Entschuldigung. It's a very formal way to ask somebody for a favor. Kein Problem. No problem. Kein Problem. 
no problem. It's a very common sentence. I use it all the time. Kein Problem. Kein Problem. Kein Problem. <laughs> if somebody's gonna be late or, um, yeah, ich komme erst in 10 Minuten. KP <laughs> means no problem. Wie viel Uhr ist es? What time is it? <laughs> Yes, obviously, when you want to know the time, uh, you ask this, and it's used at work. It's neither formal or casual. You can use it with friends. You're in the city and you forgot your watch. Entschuldigen Sie, wie viel Uhr ist es? Excuse me, what time is it? It's a very common phrase and used everywhere. Einen Moment bitte. One moment, please. You bought something and you want to return it. Entschuldigen Sie, ich würde gerne uh, etwas zurückschicken. Einen Moment, bitte. Excuse me, I would like to return something. One moment, please. Ich hätte gerne. I would like. Ich hätte gerne einen Salat mit Pommes. I would like a salad with fries. Wait. <laughs> I would like a water. <laughs> Wie viel macht das? How much is it? Ich hätte gerne ein Kleid für eine Hochzeit. Wie viel macht das? Uh, I would like a dress for a wedding. How much is it? Zahlen bitte. The check please. Zahlen bitte. The check please, when you're ordering something and uh, you're finished and uh, you want um, to pay, you usually say to the waiter or waitress, zahlen bitte. <laughs> Hilfe, help. Hilfe! Help. Hilfe, like help, is when you're in need of something or you can't do it by yourself. You scream or you say, Hilfe! Ja, ich bräuchte uh, Hilfe heute Abend. I need help tonight. Aufgeregt, excited. Aufgeregt, excited. Ich bin aufgeregt, jetzt mit euch dieses Video zu drehen. I am excited to film this video. Dynamisch, energetic. Dynamisch, energetic. Ich versuche jeden Tag mein, mein Tag sehr dynamisch zu starten. I try to start my day very energetic. I wake up with a big smile. That makes a big difference. If you try, you know, most people are not morning people, but I think if you start the day with a smile, then it will be a good day. Entspannt, relaxed. Entspannt, relaxed. Normalerweise ist der Sonntag mein Tag, wo ich entspanne. Usually Sundays is the day I relax. Uh, maybe it's a very German thing, but Sunday is in Germany a kind of a holy day for family to relax and just be with friends and not think about work or just anything. Freundlich, kind. Freundlich, kind. Meine Nachbarin ist um, sehr freundlich. My neighbor is very kind. Yeah, I think when you... Um, get along especially with neighbors that's very uh, nice and sometimes you know if you need something you can just ring the bell and ask for certain things so um it's always good to be a kind neighbor remember that glücklich happy glücklich happy jeden tag sollte man glücklich verbringen every day should be a happy day well yeah some of you who have been following my videos maybe know that usually i'm very happy it actually takes a lot for me not to be happy so um yeah i think it's very positive and good for yourself to always be happy and learn german happily hoffnungsvoll hopeful Hoffnungsvoll, hopeful. Ich bin hoffnungsvoll, dass mein nächster Urlaub 
sehr ähm, gut sein wird. I am hopeful that my next summer vacation will be very good. I think we all look forward to our summer vacations and um, yeah, let me know what you have planned. Lachen to laugh. Lachen to laugh. Um, lachen ist ansteckend. To laugh is contagious. I think to laugh is a universal language and um, it just is a good way to start a conversation or if you're new somewhere or in a country where you don't know, it's a good way to start and even learn a language by laughing. Lieben to love. Lieben to love. <laughs> ich liebe Hunde. I love dogs. Yes, I am a dog lover and um, well, if you've been following some of my other videos, I actually, uh, well, my parents actually own a German Shepherd and he's really sweet and I really love him. And um, dogs are just very kind animals. Lustig, funny. Lustig, funny. Ich liebe lustige Filme. I love funny movies. Well, comedies, funny movies are um, such a good way to spend, for example, a Sunday afternoon. Mögen to like. Mögen to like. Was mögt ihr an der deutschen Sprache? Um, what do you like most about the German language? Leave in the comments. I would love to know. Der Name. Name. The plural version is die Namen. Mein Name ist Alisa. My name is Alisa. Mein Spitzname ist Lieschen. My nickname is Lieschen. Die Uhrzeit. Time of day. Wie viel Uhr ist es? Die Uhrzeit ist 11 Uhr. Der Mann. Man. Die Männer. Men. Die typischen deutschen Männer sind groß und blond. The typical German men are tall and blond. Die Frau, woman. Die Frauen, women. Die deutschen Frauen sind starke Frauen. The German women are tough women. <laughs> die Person, person. Die Personen, people. Die Personen in Deutschland sind sehr freundlich. The people in Germany are friendly. Die Sache, thing. Die Sachen, things. So, uh, Sache, die Sache is more used in written German language. Die Sachen in meinem Zimmer sehen chaotisch aus. The things in my room look chaotic. Die Sache is a very formal way of saying things. So, uh, das Ding, die Dinge, is a very casual way of saying thing. Uh, I actually use it a lot for everything. Die Mutter, mother, die Mütter, mothers. Einige meiner Freundinnen sind schon Mütter. A few of my friends are already mothers. Der Tag, day. Die Tage, days. Mein Tag hat heute sehr früh angefangen. My day started very early today. Regnerische Tage, rainy days. Der Moment, moment. Die Momente, moments. Was war dein schönster Moment? What was your most special moment? Die Momente im Leben. The moments in life. Der Vater. Father. Die Väter. Fathers. Mein Vater ist Deutsch. My father is German. Die Väter in Deutschland lieben es Bier zu trinken. Fathers in Germany love to drink beer. I'm, I'm sure not only Germany, but... Der Bruder, brother, die Brüder, brothers. Ich habe einen Bruder. I have one brother. Die Freizeit, 
free time or leisure time. In meiner Freizeit unternehme ich gerne etwas draußen. In my free time I like to be outside. Die Tochter, daughter, die Töchter, daughters. Ich bin eine komplizierte Tochter. I am a complicated daughter, I think, to my mother. Der Sohn, son, die Söhne, sons. Der nette Sohn von nebenan. The nice son from next door. Das Kind, child, die Kinder, children. Ich bin immer noch sehr oft Kind. I am still a lot of times a child. Die Kinder in Deutschland spielen gerne draußen. The children in Germany like to play outside. Das Wort, word. Die Wörter, words. Du wirst jetzt 25 Wörter lernen. You will learn 25 words. Der Kopf, head. Die Köpfe, heads. Okay, so der rollende Kopf, the rolling head. In uh, German, if you do something bad, it's a way of saying die rollenden Köpfe or your heads will roll. It's the same saying as in German, die, die rollenden Köpfe. Die lustigen Köpfe der Klasse, the funny heads in the classroom. There are always some class clowns. In Germany we call them die, ach, die lustigen Köpfe der Klasse. Der Freund, friend. Die Freunde, friends. In German could mean my friend or also my boyfriend. Meine Freunde sind super. My friends are awesome. Oh, ist das dein Freund, Freund oder Freund? So, Freund, Freund uh, means is that your boyfriend or is it just a friend? Die Schwester, Sister. Die Schwestern, Sisters. Viele meiner Freundinnen sind wie Schwestern. A lot of my friends are like sisters to me. Die Arbeit, work. Die Arbeiten, work, as in a plural version. Was ist deine Arbeit? What is your work? Die Woche, week. Die Wochen, weeks. Meine Woche hat sehr gut angefangen. My week started very well. Die kommenden Wochen werden heiß. The next weeks are going to be hot. Der Monat, month. Die Monate, months. Mein Geburtstagsmonat ist Januar. My birthday month is January. Was sind deine Lieblingsmonate? What are your favorite months? Das Jahr, year. Die Jahre, years. Welches Jahr ist dein Geburtsjahr? What year is your birth year? Die letzten Jahre vergingen sehr schnell. The last years went by fast. Das Zuhause, home. Ich fühle mich an verschiedenen Orten zu Hause. I feel home in different kind of places. Die Nummer, number. Die Nummern, numbers. Das ist die Nummer 25 dieser Lektion. This is number 25 of this lesson. Der ärgert, upset. Der ärgert, upset. Der Mann ist sehr verärgert, weil er noch viel Arbeit zu erledigen hat. The man is upset as he has a lot of work remaining. I mean, okay, it's, probably, it's very annoying if you have a lot of work still left to do. But others, they love work. They're like, oh, yes, I have more work to do. It depends on, on how you look at it, if you like your work or not. It can be upsetting, but it can be cool. So, yeah, I guess most people are just like, damn, more work. Verletzen. To hurt. Verletzen. To hurt. Es tut mir leid, dass ich deine Gefühle verletzt habe. 
I'm sorry I hurt your feelings. To be hurt can be in several ways. It can be hurt of feelings, as in my example sentence. You can also be hurt as, for example, in sports. Then we would also say verletzt. For example, an injured player in a soccer game is verletzt. So it counts both, like feelings, sports, um, physically as mentally, you can be hurt. Einsam. Lonely. Einsam. Lonely. Die Frau ist einsam. The woman is lonely. Yeah, when I hear this, I always remember this one song of a couple of years ago. Lonely, I am so lonely. Yeah, I'm not so good at singing, so I should stop that. I don't like to be lonely. I prefer being around people, I guess that's with most. But again, as I um, said in the first example word of uh, being upset of too much work, being lonely can be cool for some people. A lot of people prefer to have uh, time on their own for most of it and just sometimes hang out with more people others me including like to be around people all the time and then just sometimes step back and have time for themselves like how are you if, if you want to share like your feelings about any of these words please just do it um, below in the comments okay traurig sad traurig sad er war traurig und seufzte he was sad and sad Did you even pronounce it sad i'm not exactly sure it's a sign of Huh. Like if I'm sad, huh? Like in German, seufzte. Er war traurig und seufzte. He was sad and sad. I hope I pronounced that right. Yeah, some people overdo it if they just really want to make clear, like, hey, I'm sad. Please take care of me. Like, huh? Elend, miserable. Oh, it's getting even better. Now we have number five. Elend, miserable. Heute fühle ich mich richtig elend. Today I feel really miserable. Oh gosh, I mean uh, miserable. Yeah, the, that's all. <laughs> Again, this counts for both psychological as physiologic. For example, if you ate something really bad last day, you can feel miserable. But you can also feel miserable because you did something stupid the other day, or because I don't know you you have a crush and he's not really into you, so that can make you feel miserable. Um, yeah, feeling miserable. Elend, there are many ways to do that. I hope you haven't experienced too much of it, at least not too often. Entmutigt, discouraged. Entmutigt, discouraged. Er fühlte sich ziemlich entmutigt nach seiner Niederlage. After his defeat, he felt very discouraged. When you lose, so you were like, oh gosh, I put it so much focus on this, this meant so much to me and it didn't work out, so I'm discouraged, um, entmutigt, enttäuscht. Disappointed. Enttäuscht. Disappointed. Er wurde von seiner Frau enttäuscht. He was disappointed by his wife. I hope that wife didn't do something too bad. Uh, yeah, disappointed. Like it can be something really minor, like, oh, I came home and I hope she, I, I don't know, prepared maybe a nice little lunch or something. Um, then, oh no, so I'm a little bit disappointed. You shouldn't be because it's not the task of your wife to cook food, right? It can be something minor, like, oh, I hope you took a picture of that car and you didn't, so I'm a little bit disappointed. Enttäuscht. It can also be something super big, like, oh, wow, you cheated on me, I'm very disappointed. And I hope that didn't happen to any of you. Bad feeling. Didn't happen to me, luckily. I mean, I guess. Who knows? I guess. I have never been cheated on. Knock on wood, right? Sich sorgen. To worry. Sich sorgen. To worry. Die Frau sorgt sich um die Rechnung. The woman worries about the bill. If you worry about money, that really sucks, because um, mostly you cannot really do so much about it. Even worse, for example, if you worry about your kids, like, oh, my kids go to school and they don't come back, they should be here already, then this is super, like, frightening and you worry. Man sorgt sich. If I'm a parent, I worry about my child. Ich sorge mich um mein Kind. Try not to worry so much about what might happen or might not happen, as long as you cannot really influence it anyways. Besorgt. Anxious. Besorgt. Anxious. Die Klausurergebnisse werden morgen bekannt geben und ich bin sehr besorgt darüber. The exam results will be announced tomorrow and I'm very anxious about it. Yeah, I remember when I had my um, A-levels in school, like here we call it Abitur, like our final exams from school. Uh, there were some subjects I was like anxious about because I actually tried to study a lot as much as I could. Um, 
but then some just really didn't work out so well I had the feeling so I was like anxious um after all don't worry about me I'm fine I, I passed I went I could go to university to college but yeah I think as everybody of us went to school we know the feeling of being anxious about some exam results coming out düster gloomy düster gloomy nachts es ist draußen düster it is gloomy outside in the night yeah um actually for me this is not such a sad word in this example phrase because i like kind of like the gloomy night sighting but for example if you're a gloomy person that's kind of negative if you like always like oh this is going to be so bad like i can see the future it's everything is going down like that's very gloomy mm. Uh, yeah, uh, there's no reason to be gloomy, I guess. We we live in a pretty cool world, even though there's a lot of trouble everywhere. Also, gloomy, it makes me remember this one last uh, Rolling Stones song they came up with, Doom and Gloom. It has nothing really to do with this lesson, I just wanted to bring it up because it's a great band. I gut. Good. Heute bin ich gut drauf. Today I am in a good mood. Die guten alten Zeiten. The good old days. Neu, new. So depending on the article, the adjective changes in German as well. Das neue Mädchen in der Klasse. The new girl in class. Der neue Hund meiner Nachbarin. The new dog of my neighbors. Erste, first. Ich war noch nie Fallschirmspringen, also würde ich es sehr gerne ausprobieren und es wäre mein erstes Mal. I've never gone skydiving before, so it would be my first time and that's exciting. Letzte, last. Ich war das letzte Mal am Meer vor circa einem Jahr. The last time I was at the ocean was about one year ago. Lecker, tasty. Ich liebe leckeres Essen. Wer nicht? I love tasty food. Who doesn't? Ich finde scharfes Essen sehr lecker. I think spicy food is very tasty. Krank, ill. Ich war letztens zehn Tage krank. I was ill for ten days actually. Klein, little. Ich finde kleine Hunde süß. I think little dogs are cute. Laut, loud. Das Stadtleben ist laut. The city life is loud. Die laute Musik. The loud music. Groß, big. Mein Hund ist ziemlich groß. My dog is pretty big. Andere, other. So it, is it is singular and plural. Ich habe lustige Freunde, aber auch andere Freunde. I have funny friends, but also other friends. Wer ist die andere Person? Who is that other person? Yep. Alt, old. Ich mag alte Schätze. I love old treasures. Ich mag alte Omas, die sind sehr süß. I like old grandmas, they're really cute. Kalt, cold. Ich mag es überhaupt nicht, wenn es kalt ist. I don't like it at all when it's cold. Müde, tired. Um, ja, heute bin ich etwas müde. Ich hoffe, ihr seht das nicht. Um, today I'm a little tired. I hope you don't see it. Gut gelaunt, cheerful. Ich bin meistens gut gelaunt oder versuche alles gut gelaunt zu sehen. I am most of the times cheerful and I try to see everything as cheerful. Verrückt, crazy. Ich glaube, einige Leute denken, ich bin verrückt. I think a lot of people actually think I'm crazy and I love it. Ich finde, die, mit den besten Freunden kannst du immer verrückt sein. I think with your best friends you can always be crazy. Those are the best ones. Lustig, funny, finde mich immer sehr lustig, ja, vielleicht andere nicht, aber ich. I think I'm funny, even though maybe other people don't, but I think so. Einer meiner Lieblingslustigen Schauspieler ist Ben Stiller. 
One of the most funniest actors is Ben Stiller. Schön, pretty, das schöne Mädchen, the pretty girl, or der schöne Sonnenuntergang, the pretty sunset. Schwierig, difficult. Ich fand Mathematik immer sehr schwierig. I always thought math was very difficult. Heiß, hot. Das Essen ist heiß. The food is hot. Or you can say also um, hot as in the weather is hot. Wichtig, important. Ich finde das Wichtigste ist sich selber treu zu bleiben. I think the most important thing is to be true to yourself. Interessant, interesting. Ich finde Kunst sehr interessant. I think art is very interesting. Es gibt auch viele interessante Personen. There are a lot of interesting people. Super, great. Das Essen war heute super. The food was great today. Eine super Erfahrung war für mich, als ich tauchen war in Ägypten. Uh, one of the most greatest experience for me was to dive in Egypt. Schlecht, bad. Das schlechte Wetter would be the bad weather. So there's an E again, depending on the article. Das schlechte Essen, the bad food. Langweilig, boring. Mir ist nie langweilig. Ich finde immer etwas. Uh, I am actually never bored. I always find something to do or funny and um, weit, far. Ich liebe es, weit weg zu reisen. I love to travel to far away places. Die Strecke von meinem Haus zur Arbeit ist weit. The way from my house to work is far. Rucksack, Backpack. Er trug seine Bücher, Stifte und Papiere im Rucksack. He carried his books, pencils and papers in the backpack. Ja. Yeah. See, I have still my backpack from my time at school. I used to have it since fifth grade, I think. To be really cool, I put it this Rolling Stones tong here. Yeah, you can see it already survived many years. Kind of broken by now. But it did a good job. Rolling Stones. Klassenkamerad. Classmate. Sarah war meine Klassenkameradin in der Schule. Sarah was my classmate at school. I think that classmates are the most important in all the school time because I mean of course all the stuff you learn but you will never get that much time with all your friends and your classmates like later on when you work. It's difficult to keep in touch so if you're still in school or at college appreciate having all your friends around you all the time. Unfortunately this will not last forever. Hausaufgaben. Homework. Ich mache jeden Tag nach der Schule Hausaufgaben. I do homework every day after school. Yeah, right. I wouldn't do them before class. Of course, most of the homework is to be done at home, but I think all of you know that from time to time, little things are just done right in time before class. Prüfung. Exam. Ich muss für meine Prüfung lernen. I must study for my exam. Yeah, this is probably one of the parts people don't miss so much about time at school or in college. The exam period. It's very stressful always. Study a lot, but... Come on, most people survived. Next one. Notizheft. Notebook. Ich habe für jeden Kurs ein eigenes Notizheft. I have a separate notebook for each class. Looking here, in my school bag, yeah, there is like a notebook. And uh, let's see, it's even brand new, so always prepared for a new class, right? <laughs> What's that? Looks like some boring math stuff here. And it says history. So yeah, I didn't really have a separate notebook for each class. There's everything mixed up in here, but I don't know if this is art or... Yeah, it's better you have a separate notebook for each class. It gets confusing if you mix everything in one. Okay, but let's move on. Um, Schule. School. Ich gehe jeden Werktag zur Schule. I go to school every weekday. Um, yeah, that's what I did from Monday to Friday. Every weekday or workday I went to school. 
I've heard when my parents were young, they even had to go to school on Saturday. That must have been awful times. So enjoy your living in the here now. Next one, studieren, to study. Ich studiere Betriebswirtschaft. I study business management. Yeah, very cliche. Whenever you don't know what to study, study business management. Like, <laughs> I, even I like I study business engineering a little bit different, but still, I, I wasn't sure what should I choose. So, business always works. Well, if you're more of a creative type, you should probably choose something else. It's a lot about numbers, really. Next one. Es ist der erste Schultag. It's the first day of class. Yeah, some people love it, most people hate it. Like right now it's summer break here. My little sister, she's 14, still going to school, being on holiday, of course. She's already super sad thinking of um, the first day of classes. Other people are just like very happy to see all their classmates again. As I said earlier, that's the coolest thing. You can see all your classmates again. So don't be too sad when it's first day of class. Of course, holiday is nice, but it's also cool to be around your friends all the time. Wir sind in derselben Klasse. We are in the same class. That's like, you can imagine this, right? You're going to school, like there are new classes, you want to know, oh, am I with my best friend in class? You look at the boards and then, oh, it's me here, and then my best friend right next to me, same class. Woo, woo, we are in the same class! Um, yeah, that's how I imagine the school kids to be happy about being in the same class with their friends. Woo, same class! Yay! Was ist dein Hauptfach? What's your major? Yeah, going to college, probably this is the most asked question. It's first, what's your name, and then what's your major? I think some people even ask what's your major before asking what's your name. So be prepared to know the sentence, to know the answer for the sentence. Um, you'll be asked this very often. You are at a train station where you're attempting to buy an express ticket from a ticket machine. Which option should you choose to buy an express ticket? Which option should you choose to buy an express ticket? The option on the bottom left is for an express ticket. Express Zug ticket. You are at a train station where you've just bought an express ticket. Which train car row and seat number are you in? Which train car row and seat number are you in? The ticket says that you're in train car number one in the eighth row in seat C. Wagen 1, achte Reihe, Sitz C. You are at a train station where you're reading the train schedule for an express ticket that you've just bought. On which days are there no express trains running? On which days are there no express trains running?
There are no express trains running on public holidays and the third Sunday of every month. Feiertage an jedem dritten Sonntag im Monat. You are on a platform at a train station where you're waiting for your train. Suddenly, a message appears on the display. What does the message on the display mean? What does the message on the display mean? The display reads, the next train will not stop. Achtung, Zugdurchfahrt. You are at a train station where you're looking for the best exit to catch a taxi. Which exit should you take to get to the taxi rank? Which exit should you take to get to the taxi rank? You should take the east exit in order to get to the taxi rank. Ostausgang. You just got a text message from your hotel's pickup service. What does the first number refer to? What does the first number refer to? The number in the text message refers to the customer code. Kundennummer. You're checking out the hotel's facilities when you see a notice on a door. What does the notice mean? What does the notice mean? The notice reads, do not enter. Kein Zutritt. You search online for the nearest bus service. What bus service does the page show? What bus service does the page show? The web page shows a free bus service. Kostenlose Busverbindung. 
You're about to enter a small shop, but there's a handwritten note on the door. What does the message on the note mean? What does the message on the note mean? The note reads, I'll be right back. Ich bin gleich wieder da. There's a national holiday coming up, and you notice that shops have special notices about having different opening hours. From when will the opening hours return to normal? From when will the opening hours return to normal? The notice says that the opening hours will be back to normal on January 7th. 7th January. Expand your vocabulary with our core 2000 words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free German ebook before it's gone.